Well, it's that time again. We've got the Vani Vicious in our office, ready to get touched up. Uh, she is all over maintenance, so we see her probably three, four times a year to make sure your Botox is on point, that those lips stay gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, and so we're going to give a little touch up today. But she's looking fabulous and stays fabulous because she stays on top of Botox. Let's take a look at how things are moving. Go ahead and, yeah, you raise your eyebrows. She's just starting to get some motion in her forehead. And then let's see the big smile. Big smile, like when you're looking in the mirror when you're putting the makeup mm -hmm. on. There you go. You see a little bit of crunch is starting here. Really, not a lot of muscle movement, but enough where she sees it in the mirror and she doesn't want to see it in the mirror. <laughs> so we're going to take her take care of that right now. And in a couple days, you won't see it in the mirror. We're going to get started. Little pinch there. Other side, little pinch. Great. And then get that right in the middle. Okay. Cold roller. If you guys have been following me for a while, you've seen it before. I know Vanny has seen it many times. Chills the skin down, takes away some of the pinch, and makes it a little bit less likely to have any bruising. Raise your eyebrow for me. Good. Now relax. Last pinch on the forehead. There you go. Smile big for me. There you go. You can see the little lines there. Relax. We inject slightly above where she's getting some lines. And right down the middle. Good. And a little bit below. Done. One. Now, her lips are just naturally beautiful. I'm going to take a good close look and see really pretty shape. She's got a beautiful Cupid's bow here. Nice proportion of the upper lip. The lower lip is appropriately slightly fuller but she wants to get a bit more plump in both, and that's what we're going to do. Start with the upper lip and just stay into the red part of the lip. I'm just putting little bits as we go through. And she's already had a bunch of topical anesthesia. Sometimes I do nerve blocks. We have not done that today. Oh, we've gotten a nice gentle plump along here. I may put a little more, but I don't want to leave the lower lip untreated, so we're gonna put a little bit around the lower lip. Doesn't need a lot. We'll just use a, a thin amount across the red part of the lower lip. You can see as I inject it, it just kind of smooths things. You see that smoothing right there? 